Hi guys, Love Book Triangle Lindsay here, and I'm going to be talking about my 2019 goal. Well, first off, I'm going to be talking about some of my YouTube goals, and I just want to create more content. I feel like I did a good amount of videos for myself for my first year ever doing booktube. I actually did my first video on January 1st, pretty sure it was January 1st of last year. So going into my second year I want more content, I want to talk to more of you guys, interact with more readers, and I just want better content as well. I feel like in some of my videos I was lazy and I just kind of posted the video because I felt like I had to and I don't want that this year. I actually have a few different planners that I have going for this year. I don't know why I have so many but I just got right in writing and I do. My YouTube schedule is going to be in this it is a Hufflepuff notebook I got in a subscription box. Sorry, I don't remember which one. It was so long ago that I got this. I'm going to plan it out for stuff I want to film. And I also have like an Instagram <laughs> schedule in here because I want to be more on top of things. I feel like having this layout is going to help me a lot. And I hope I can stick to it. That's another part of my 2019 goals is... I feel like I just plan stuff out so much, but I never really stick to it. I'm like, oh, I'll get to it tomorrow, I'll do it a different time. And I just want to stick to what I set for myself, and that's something I'm going to work on me <laughs> for this year. And like I said, Instagram is another thing. I want more content, better quality photos, interacting with more book lovers out there. Another planner that I have. I used this with a gift card I got for Christmas. It was $10, but well, free because I had a gift card. And I am keeping this one as like a life one and some other different things as well. I'm writing goals in here. This is just a little example of what I got. I kind of want to set and then be able to record them because I want to kind of keep myself accountable, like I said, on things this year. But inside here, <laughs> another one, like I said, I have so many different ones. But it's this one I got for free and I wanted to use it because it's so cute. But I'm actually going to keep track in this one, the different books I want to read and how many pages a day I have to do it and it's gonna hopefully be more helpful to me all laid out like that to know okay if I want to finish this amount of books I need to get it done by this date which it's only about like five books a month that's great for me and if I change plans up a little bit here and there that's okay I'm not gonna get frustrated on that I just want to read because <laughs> I love to read and I just want to read and I want to try to not get in so many slumps this year so I'm hoping having a better laid out schedule will keep me from getting in certain slumps but I want to try to switch from reading to audiobooks because that's helped me a lot these last couple of months and I'm really glad I started listening to those. Something else I want to do this year is reread the Harry Potter series. I have never reread it. I've only read it one time and after seeing Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald, I just had an urge to dive back into the Harry Potter world because the movie also had me thinking because it referenced stuff that you get in Harry Potter and I want to make sure I have it right too. But I just really have been dying to go back to the series and I'm not planning on doing that until after one of the major book events I'm going to this year so I can get things read that I want to get read for the event. But in the meantime, I just then started watching the movies again to hold me over. So I want to start rereading things because, I mean, you get all these books and you collect them for a reason, right? You want to reread them. So I'm so excited to do that reread later this year. And like I said, I have all these books. So another thing I want to do this year is read what I have. I mean, sure, there are certain books that... I'm going to want to get when they come out, but I am going to try to just stick to those and 
get going with everything that I have before I get new books and beside money. So that is another big reason to do it as well. Those are some of my main goals this year for like YouTube, Instagram, just books overall. And I'm hoping just for myself that I could stick to these goals to prove to myself to just not be so lazy and actually get stuff done that I want to get done. So let me know down below what are some of your 2019 goals this year and what are you hoping to read or get done. Till next time, bye guys.